well I've made it to where I'm going to camp and as you can see I've got Paquita tied over here to this tree. Now it's one thing to tie a horse to a tree just for a short period of time but if you're going to be leaving them in place for hours at a time i.e. overnight or during the day when I'm out hiking around hunting it's a good idea to put up a high line which is a rope strung between two trees that you tie the horses to that way the horses aren't pawing around at the bottom of the trees and killing them uh, by exposing the roots and it also gives them the ability to move around a little bit and even lay down and eat depending on how you tie them so I'm going to try and tie the rope between this tree over here and another one behind me and to do that I'm going to have to use my catch rope because I kind of forgot my other highline rope at home. I've wrapped the tail of the rope around this tree twice so that it can't slide down. But in order to keep this nylon rope, which has some stretch in it, tight, I need to tie my version of a trucker's hitch in it. There are several different ways to tie horses to a high line, but I'm just going to show you how I do it. They do make a sort of ring that hooks into the rope and then has a, a lower ring where you could just tie your horses with a slip knot or a bowline, however you usually tie them to any sort of a ring. However, I don't have one of those. And another thing that you'll often see in a high line is knots every few feet, just an overhand knot. And that keeps the rope from sliding. Well. I don't want to tie knots into this rope, so I'm going to tie my version of a highline hitch. I'm not exactly sure what the name is. It's probably called a Prusik hitch or something like that. So I'm going to go over, get the desired lead length, and over again. And sometimes I'll even go over a third time, depending on how slick the highline is and how much friction the lead rope has. Then I come back over the horse end of the rope and bring it through again. And I'm going to do it twice here because this is a slick rope. <laughs> and you want all these coils to be against the high line rope. And that creates a lot of friction. Pull it tight. There. And it's not going anywhere. And then just wrap the tail that you have that's extra around the high line. Pistol approves. When you tie horses on a high line, you want to be sure that you give them just enough slack so that they can eat off the ground, but not so much that they're likely to put their foot over the halter rope. Because that's when you have a big wreck. 